My name is Cindy Feaster, and as Chris just shared with you, I'm part of Team Rise. I have been blessed with an amazing team and an amazing crew, and we were um, just recognized as an ambassador group uh, just a couple of months ago. And so I'm coming to you this morning, believe it or not, uh, as someone stepping outside of their comfort zone. A little bit about me. Um, I live in Florida. My husband and I moved here almost six years ago now when he retired. He's 16 years older than me. I will be 59 this year in December. And I am not from network marketing. You all hear from a lot of leaders on Saturday as they uh, share amazing uh, information with you about how to get started in this business. Uh, many, many, many of them come to you with years of experience in the industry. Well, I am not one of those ladies. So if you all are joining us today and you are like me and not from the industry, I have some really great news for you. You're gonna be incredibly successful still without the industry experience. I um, moved here upon retirement um, for my husband, had to reinvent myself. I worked for a little company called Xerox Corporation. Um, a lot of you might know Xerox Corporation. I was a high-end sales executive and then a high-end selling manager with them for many, many years. Had great success in Ohio. Um, sacrificed a lot. I put in long hours and, um, but I had a really, really great career and a great time in that industry. Moved here, had to reinvent myself in my 50s and um, found myself uh, almost starting over in a career that was foreign to me. And um, <clears throat> I, I found that um, moving to Florida, um, not only was I in a career that I was unhappy with, but I also was um, about 32 pounds heavier than I needed to be. I was in a funk and just didn't feel good about the direction that my life was going in. I was one of those girls on a Sunday night um, that almost got a knot in her stomach thinking about having to show up for work and the J-O-B on Monday. And if y'all ever feel like that? And um, I was just in a funk. So a dear friend of mine, Ricky Durant, was uh, sharing some of these very curious posts about feeling happy and elevated, and he was back in the gym, I reached out to Ricky. He was gracious enough to share with me some of these amazing products. And within the first day, I felt something immediately. My husband, it was about the third day. And again, he's in his 70s, and what he noticed was no more afternoon nap. We quickly jumped in with both feet uh, to be able to not only be customers of the product, but because I was a businesswoman and you know, um, I knew that these products were really something special, um, Ricky also shared with me the opportunity and more specifically the ground floor opportunity. And because again, I was a businesswoman, I understood what ground floor and I understood what opportunity meant. So we jumped right in. Now this was in December of 2017. And we had plans for two week hiatus in Ohio, those first two weeks in January. But my big pack, you know, at the time you could buy a happy, happier or happiest pack. My um, biggest happiest pack, which I had to find a credit card where I had enough credit to be able to afford that thousand dollar pack came in. And I packed that, we drove to Ohio that year and I packed that in the car and took my happy, happiest, happiest pack with me to Ohio. I uh, was faithful every day with my products. And when I was in Ohio, I was able to share the products with some girlfriends who were my age, girls I'd gone to high school and college with. We were able to share them with our couple friends. By the time we got back home to Florida on January 15th, not only had I shown some other people how to become a customer just like me, but we also had lost some weight and that was kind of my goal because I was 32 pounds overweight. So January 15th, when we got back of 2018, I decided that I was going to really, really plug in. 
you know, I get asked a lot, Cindy, you know, what, what is it that you've done that really has lent itself to so much success? And when I think back to January of 2018, and I think about my mentors, my leaders, and that would include Colt Summers and Shark Garcia, Robin uh, White Grigsby, and certainly Ricky Durant and Chris Schweda, I thought to myself, I plugged in. Now I was working a full-time corporate career, but what I really did was I just didn't make up or have any excuses not to plug in. If I was driving somewhere from one appointment to another and it happened to be when there was a team Zoom happening or there was a training happening, I had my earbuds in or I had my phone on speakerphone and I was at least listening in. I was plugged in. Um, Ricky said early on to me, you know, you really only need to be, uh, have a few characteristics. You need to be coachable, teachable, and trainable. Because we've got the vehicle. The products here work. Not only do they work, they're affordable. Oh, and did I mention they work? And that resonated with me. And he was right. So I knew it was going to be really important to plug in. So today I want to talk to you about getting started. For those of you that are brand new this week, maybe you signed up just this morning, maybe just this past week, maybe a month you've been in, maybe you've been here a long time. I'm really hopeful and prayerful in my prayers this morning that you'll find at least one or two nuggets that maybe you can incorporate into your daily activities, you know, into your personal life that are gonna to help to move you forward and have an elevated life and business. So let's talk about getting started. You're a new entrepreneur, now what? So the first thing I'm gonna encourage you to do if you haven't yet is get familiar with your back office, right? I want you to take some time to navigate through that office and get to know it. This is where your websites are for your customers. You've got your customer websites back there, um, I want you to find, you know, this is where we get them signed up for our core and flagship products. So you'll look for your customer websites. Um, this is where you're going to see your customers that you bring on. This is where you're going to see your affiliates or your business builders that you're partnered up with. You're going to be able to get in there. And uh, as you start to grow this business and you start to lead a team, you're going to understand where they're at in their business and how you might be able to best support them. This is where you're going to find information on all of our products. There's a, if you go, just work your way down the side and look at those drop down menus, everything that you need to know about the products are there. You can download them as a PDF. If you like to keep a binder, print them out. Um, they're pretty, pretty awesome. This is where you're also gonna find our corporate information. You're gonna get up to date videos. There's some now that are loaded from our amazing formulator, uh, Kevin Thomas, where he talks about some of our different products certainly our flagship and core products. Um, this is where you're gonna find out about our current events. Right now we've got a lot of exciting events happening uh, with our business and with this opportunity. Plug in to a Hope event. I've been to two so far and um, they're quite amazing. But in your back office, this is where you will find that information. The other thing I wanna just recommend to you while you're in your back office, if you haven't yet placed a personal purchase in your affiliate back office, I'm talking about your Elopreneur account, you need to make sure that in order for you to qualify for a paycheck every week and every month, that you've made one purchase that at least is equal to $40 in personal volume. That's a tub of coffee, y'all. That's a bottle of Xanthamax. That's a tub of chocolate, right? It could be a face serum. Um, so make sure that you have that purchase made. The way that you can confirm that is if you go to the tab that says business progress and you open that up, if you see a red or orange X in that area that indicates you have not yet satisfied your $40 personal purchase requirement to earn commission. As soon as that processes, you'll see a green check mark. So again, getting started, let's make sure that we take some time to navigate 
through our back office. I want to talk um, a little bit about you've navigated through your back office. If you haven't yet, I always make sure that our new affiliates and all the affiliates in our organization get a welcome call scheduled. So if you guys haven't gotten a welcome call scheduled yet, make a note somewhere that you need to get with the affiliate that brought you into this business and ask them to please get a welcome call scheduled. What happens on a welcome call? Well, this is where you get to meet your support team. This is where you get to meet the people that are going to be plugged in to your success, that are going to be able to mentor you, coach you, teach you, help you in this business. That's really, really important early on that you know who these people are. And normally those welcome calls will happen through a similar link like Zoom, or maybe you'll do it on a messenger video chat but it gives you a chance to put a face with a name and hear a voice. And they will um, get to know you. It's kind of your call, it's about you, but it's really just a great opportunity for the people surrounding you to understand your goals, your dreams, your desires as it relates to this opportunity. So I wanna make sure that you um, get a welcome call. The next thing that you guys are really gonna to wanna to make sure that you do, and that is to, I always say plug in. What do I mean when I say plug in? Well, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you know what the schedule is for trainings. So a lot of us um, plug into the Team Rise trainings. I wanna just give you all a shout out today if you're joining us this morning, because you know what? I know that you're committed. And so congratulations for being with us on this amazing Easter weekend where we have so much to celebrate. We have other commitments, but because you're here and because you are showing up, it really tells me that you guys understand the opportunity that you're willing to do what's required to make a difference in your life and in the lives of your family for many, many generations to come. So when I say be plugged in, make sure that you're getting on those trainings. Now listen, you don't have to actively participate and have your video cameras turned on. You can just, you could be at the gym doing a workout you could be sitting on the beach. I like to do that a lot, right? Um, you could be at your child's soccer game or basketball game or football game, but just find a way to plug in. Because here's what I do know. For my affiliates that plug in, for my affiliates that have the big enough want and desire, they find the way. They get rid of all of the excuses and they find a way to plug in. And what I can promise you, if at least in the first six to nine months of this business that you find yourself a part of, you plug in, right? Your business is gonna change. The affiliates that you bring on are going to follow your example. You need to lead. Lead by example, plug in, right? And they will do the same thing. Make sure you're a part of your messenger threads. Most every team has a messenger thread that you can be a part of. Now listen, I know those things can drive you crazy. So I always tell my new affiliates, turn off the notifications, right? So that your phone's not blowing up. Because I can remember when I first started, I think I called Ricky and I said, oh my gosh, I can't. This is just driving me crazy. I didn't know how to turn off notifications. He quickly showed me how to turn off notifications. But he also made me promise that I was going to check into the team messenger thread on a regular basis so that I didn't miss the important stuff. So plug into your team messenger threads. If you're not added to one of those yet, get with your upline and ask them how you can be a part of that team messenger thread. Personal development. You know, we heard our amazing leader, Francisco, last week talk a lot about the importance of personal development. You guys, this can look and feel different for everybody. Uh, some people like to read. There are some incredible books out there that you could pick up and you can read. I like to read. I like to sit on the beach or by my pool and read. I've got some affiliates that like to read and I'll gift them some great business building books. I also have some affiliates that like to listen to the audio books, right? I have some affiliates that are personally developing their skills through programs like Rank Makers. Have any of y'all heard of Rank Makers by Ray Higdon? 
Uh, maybe Brian Fryer, who does social media impact. He's, I think, social impactors is his group, right? This is another great way and a, for you guys to do some personal uh, development. So um, that's really what I want to talk to you guys about today as it relates to you know, just your personal development and some things that you can consider, you know, as you start to grow your very, very own business and are a business owner here. Um, you know, uh, social media, um, for this Grammy, uh, the only social media that I ever had and, and being a, a business executive with Xerox in that industry, I didn't work from this platform. I had Facebook, um, as a uh, as a way to stay connected to my three boys that served in the U.S. Army, and uh, to be able to stay connected to my grandbabies. So when I learned that I was going to use uh, Facebook uh, to be able to share my personal story and move my business forward and grow a business, I was quite shocked. Um, I learned very quickly because I made some mistakes early on of some best practices and some definite no-nos. And I wanna just talk with you about that a little bit this morning as it relates to social media. First of all, what I do know, because I have been in sales for many years, is that people connect with people. They just want to feel like they're a part of your life. I don't care if you're in person, if you're on Facebook, if you're talking on the phone, People just want to feel like you care about them, they care about you, they want to know about you. And so that's the really, really cool thing about Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever social media platform you work from best. Maybe you have multiple. I just do Facebook. And I probably could do a lot more if I figured out this Instagram thing. And I fired back up my professional profile on LinkedIn. But what I want you to know is that people don't want to feel like you're being salesman-y and all weird or spammy on your Facebook. Use it to connect, but let's be intentional about the kind of posts and the kind of things that we share. Um, Three posts a day, really, I think if you join any social media um, group that's going to help to instruct you and help you be successful in social media, they're going to say three posts a day, really, is all that you need. No more and no less. Um, because again, we don't want to overwhelm our audience. The one thing that I'm going to recommend that you do before you make your very first post, and the best time usually to make that is between 7.30 and 9 a.m. in the morning right, an early post. What I like to do, and I would encourage you guys to do, is a little warm up, right, before you make your first post. Well, Cindy, what do you mean about a warm up? So what I mean is, is what I'll do is I'll go into my friends list. And when I first started, I started right with the A's. And I would open up every friend that had an A, and I would go to their Facebook, I would scroll, you know, these would be people I haven't engaged for maybe years, certainly months. Um, and I would go to these friends <laughs> whose, you know, names started with an A, and I would find some posts on their Facebook wall that I could make a comment on or that I could like. And I do that every morning for about 15 to 20 minutes, right? I call that my, my social media warm up in the morning. Once I've done that, now it's time for me to make my first post. I know one of our best leaders, he always makes his first post as some kind of a motivational post, right? I don't think you can get this wrong. For me personally, it's usually a personal toast or toast. It's a personal post. Um, it's a post that you know, uh, could be my husband and I getting ready to go do our cardio. We call it the blueberry waddle down here where we live. That's what we do. And maybe I'll just show a photo of us, you know, warming up outside and I'll just give a shout out. Oh my gosh, we're so thankful for our dose this morning. Didn't feel like doing our blueberry waddle, but we're getting it in and getting it done. Thank you dose for the extra energy and the focus to make this happen right? So you want to make one post. That's my personal, to that's my personal um, post about the products and what it's doing for me. You know, then your second post could be an engagement post. You know, I've got one on my wall right now, and this is a post where you're really working hard to get just engagement. It doesn't need to be about the coffee. 
I have one on there that I put up yesterday um, and it says, I think, pickled beets and eggs, yes or no? And, you know, if you look at my Facebook, well, I think we've got over, you know, 200 and some comments for people that are like, yes, they're no, yes or no. So an engagement post is a great post to include maybe for your second post. And you're going to want to post your second post around that lunchtime hour, right? This is the next time when people are kind of jumping on their Facebook and getting caught up with everything happening in social media. So between noon and 1.30 p.m., good times to be able to post. Your final post or your third post of the day needs to happen in the evening, around dinner time, maybe before they're settling in to watch their favorite TV show. So kind of keep that in mind. Usually somewhere between, you know, 6.30 and 9 p.m. is a good time to make that third and final post, okay? And that post can just be, you know, oh my gosh, can't wait to see how Blake Shelton, you know, uh, you know, getting ready to watch The Voice with my favorite country singer, Blake Shelton, whatever it is, you guys, just, you know, a post to be able to engage your audience. Now, there's something really important that I want to share with you, and I kind of missed out on this um, when I started. If you're going to do your post about your products in the morning like me, don't ever, 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 ever show the name of your products. Um, this is a, this is a big mistake. We don't want to show the front of, you know, the Elevate or the Xantha Max or the Chocolate. It's not a problem to show that you're using products, but just turn them around so that they can just see the label. Or if it's a copy stick, just flip it over. We don't want them to see Elevate or Elevosity or any of that stuff. We want to really keep these posts just enough to pique interest and curiosity, right? And if we give them everything about what we're doing, what's the first thing you all do when you see a new product or somebody tells you about something? We go right to Google, right? And we're typing it in. We're getting misinformation many times, right? Um, maybe we're getting taken to a site that doesn't even belong uh, to the person that shared the products with you. And we end up signing up under someone else or heaven forbid, we make a purchase on Amazon, right? So I want to tell you, please, you know, and if you have posts where you've got the name of the products exposed, get them removed, go back in there and delete those posts, right? Let, all we want to do is create curiosity and create interest, and then we're going to engage them in a private message. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So the other thing, which is something y'all don't want to do, please don't throw your websites up there. Please don't put elevocity.com forward slash happy coffee and faith. That's who I am, happy coffee and faith. Don't do that, y'all, because what's going to happen is they're going to see it one time. They might go to your link and pull it up one time. And then by the time they decide that they're going to order, they're just going to remember it was elevocity.com. Guess what? Here they go. You're going to hear from them in a week. Oh, I'm so excited. I got my products today. And you're going to go look in the back of your back office and you're going to go, what? I don't, did you order products? Oh yeah, I ordered a week ago when you were talking about it. And they're not going to be your customer. They're going to have ordered from someone else. So don't put your Elevosity website up there. Okay. There's just too much confusion. And remember, this is not a transaction that we are trying to move. We're moving a relationship. And if you're just throwing your website up there, you know, how are you making the connection? How do you know what it is that they're really looking for? These products offer so many amazing benefits that if you're not connecting on that personal level, it is just going to be a transaction. And that might just mean 30 days of them on the product because you didn't take the few extra minutes, right, to find out what it is that they're looking for. So I really want you to just be kind of cognizant of some of those things. Now, listen, if somebody puts on there, oh my gosh, Tell me more about these happy products you're talking about. Maybe they make that comment. What do you need to do? You've got to go in and reply to the comment. Not make another comment, but reply to that comment. And you just need to say this. Oh, I'm so glad you asked me about these products. I'm going to private message you. Or I'm going to text you. Or I'm going to email you. Whatever platform it is. Or I'm going to give you a call. Are you home tonight? That's all you need to say, but you do need to make sure that you reply to their comment because this keeps your post 
right? Moving through your live feed and gives it more exposure to other people. So make sure that you reply. Now, when you reply, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you better reply. If you say, I'm going to get you some more information, you know, in messenger or text or email, make sure you do that, right? If it's a schedule and you don't normally respond until you get off of your normal J-O-B, you better put that person's name down that you're going to get them some information, right? You shouldn't just in private messenger. Now, this is not where we just go and throw up our website again, because remember, we are working to establish a connection, a relationship. We are growing residual income. So that personal human connection is important, right? So make sure that you do that. One of the things that I do for my team, and I've done this early on, is I created some canned responses. Any of you all ever use canned responses, right? So what I love about the canned responses is that you can kind of create these messages that, um, that you can send to the same people, but they seem very personal and intimate, right? And if you create, you know, because a lot of times the exchange is the same. Imagine a cup of coffee or a cup of chocolate and a supplement that can do this, 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 and this, right? My husband and I are so excited about these products and I'm so glad that you've reached out. Let me know when you have three minutes to check out my video about these amazing products, right? That's a canned response that y'all can create and just save it to yourself in Messenger. You can copy and paste it in your text messages. You can send it as an email. But if you do that, you create some canned responses right? That feel personal and intimate. You don't feel like you're just constantly, you know, reinventing or, boy, I really like how I said that to who did I say it to? And then you have to try to go and hunt and find that message. Find some responses that are pretty generic, but feel very intimate that you can use and duplicate. Remember, we are creating a duplicatable, simple business model. And these canned responses, when you're having a communication, whether it's about the products, or about the business opportunity are really going to help you guys simplify the process, right? So I just call those canned responses. I sell, I share those for my entire downline affiliates. They're pretty awesome and they really make it easy for people to get going and having conversations. Even if it's not your conversation, at least you've got a good outline of where to start and then you can make your own up, right? Now we want to talk about how do you experience the products, right? Um, because really, uh, our business models is simple. Demo, use, share, right? We're going to demonstrate to people what these products are doing in our lives and what they're doing in the lives of other people. We're going to make sure that we're using the products so that we can validate our experience, right? And then we're going to share these amazing products with other people. Demo, use, share. Really, really simple business model, right? And so now when we share, the thing that I always recommend to my prospective customers, and I've trained up my affiliates to do this, is you know what? You, you, got to, you got to try these products for 30 days. I think I loved what Sherry said the other day, or one of the other gals said, you know, if you're doing a two-day or a four-day uh, shareable, I like to call them experience packs, you guys. And if I could encourage one thing, get away from the word sample, right? When I think of sample, I think of less than. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Do you ever go, you know, somebody, oh, you want to sample this little bit of yogurt? You want to, you know, and it's less than. It's never a full serving, right? It's less than. So when you guys are offering the shareables, you know, and you're like, well, what's a share? Just say it's an experience pack right? And, and I never do anything less than four days. And the reason I never do anything less than four days is because I know that follow-up's important. And if you guys fall short in your follow-up and you only do two days and you're not going to be able to do a good follow-up on day one or day two, then, you know, know what your limitations are, know what your shortfalls are, and make sure that you're offering a four-day or a six-day uh, shareable experience or whatever works for you that's going to allow you to do the proper follow-up. But the very first thing you need to approach them with is the 30 days because our company offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
Now, listen, I want you to be clear on this because there's a lot of confusion wrapped away. Oh, 30 days, right? This is 30 days from the day that the order processes. So what that really means for a customer is about 20 or 21 days on the product, right? And you know what? If their experience is not, you know, what we know it's going to be, and this is going to be a rarity, you know, you've got a whole support team, right, that your customer can work with to return product and get a refund. We don't, we don't service customers here like that. And that's the beauty of this company. They've got you an entire support team uh, for you to help support your customers through an 800 number, an email, or now the live chat is amazing. So if they're saying, oh, 30 days, you know, I'm not really crazy about 30 days, then you start to offer them the shareable experience. And again, we've got two days, we've got four days, six days, um, whatever is going to work best for you. A lot of us make our own shareable experience packs. Maybe you do five for $25. Um, so make sure that if you're going to get the shareable experience pack out, that you do a really good job and follow up. Because I think this is probably where most of my affiliates fall short, is in the follow-up. And guess what? The fortune, you guys, is in the follow-up. So if you know you're really not good at follow-up, you know, you really got to push for that 30 days, okay? So the fortune's in the follow-up. The other thing, guys, charge for your shareables. I always tell all of my affiliates, when I first started in this business, every prospective customer that I approached I didn't think of as a prospective customer, but I thought as a future affiliate, right? As a future affiliate. And what we're doing is creating that duplicatable business model. At the time I came on, I couldn't afford to give away product. I can afford to do it today, but I don't. These products have value for me. These products cost me money, right? And so I'm not going to give them away. And if I look at every prospective customer as a future business builder or partner of mine, I want them to know that they don't have to have money to give product away. I want them to know that we're going to sell our shareables. We're going to share, share these with people. You know, we're not in this to try to get rich or, you know, uh, make money on our shareables. We want people to get the products into their bodies. But let's just, if you, have a, if you feel odd about that, just say, hey, listen, I don't make money, you know, by moving these shareable experience packs. I'm just going to pass my cost on to you, right? And that should include marketing costs, shipping and handling that costs you to get there packaging, your effort and time to get to the post office and postage. So get in the habit of selling a shareable, right? Um, they have value, sell them $5 a day. That's what I sell them for. So four days is $20, five days, 25, six days is 30, right? And so get in the habit. Again, create a duplicatable business model. And then of course, make sure that you're following up. Um, let's see. What else I want to talk to you about? We talked about canned responses and the 30-day uh, guarantee. Listen, one of the best business tools that you all have available to you is a customer group. In the customer group, if you are not adding your prospective customers to that group, five to 10 a day, you are missing out, y'all. You're missing out. Um, the customer group has moved so many times my prospective customers from just considering and being on the fence to becoming a customer. And here's how I like to work when I add my prospective customers into the group. The first thing I'll let them know is, hey, do you like to be happy? Have you heard about the happy coffee everybody's talking about? Well, no, Cindy, I haven't heard that. Listen, um, you like to be happy? Yes, I like to be happy. You like coffee? No, I don't like coffee. Oh, you like chocolate? I do like chocolate. Well, listen, I've discovered an amazing product that's really changed my hubby's life and my life. And I'm excited to share more with you about it. What I'd like to do is add you to a closed customer Facebook group um, that is just amazing and chock full of testimonies besides the one that I'm able to share with you about Phil and I. I'm going to invite you to that group. Will you be on the lookout in your notifications to accept and join the group? Create, again, a canned message, right, that you can use for everybody. 
um, and then add them in to that closed customer Facebook group, invite them in. Now Facebook's changed and so they do have to accept and join the group. Don't get hung up and say, oh, I can't invite them or add them in because they don't want to be in groups. Let them make that decision. It doesn't work that way anymore, right? They have to accept and join the group that you've invited them to. But if you don't give them a courtesy heads up that you're inviting them and asking them to join, um, then that, that request or that invite is going to get lost and pushed down in their notifications right? And you're going to think they're in the group and yet they're never really ever in the group. But use that tool. If you know that they're looking for a specific kind of result or benefit, go in and search for some of those posts that would resonate with them and tag them in the posts. Do y'all know how to do that in your customer groups? You know, if you get into your closed customer group, there's a search bar that's just unique to that customer group and you can go right up there and you can search fibromyalgia or depression or even certain medications. And, um, and then you're gonna see these posts come up with you know, uh, testimonies that might resonate with your prospective customer. You guys will be amazed at how this tool can really help to grow your business, but you gotta add people to it and not just after they become a customer. This is for prospects. So really, really, really use that tool of your customer group. I'm gonna really encourage you to do that. One of the things that I find my affiliates um, have a tendency to do is discriminate, right? Um, and when I say that, they're like, oh, they're such a fit person, they wouldn't be interested you know, in the products. Or, you know what, their budget is not going to allow them to use our products. Or, um, oh, they're just, you know, they're just too old. Uh, they wouldn't get any benefit from these products. I want to encourage you, stop discriminating. Stop, stop, stop. First of all, everybody needs what we have. I don't care if you're young. My nine-year-old grandson uses these. It, you know, he doesn't use the ADD or ADHD medicine, right? He uses this to help with his focus. And this is an alternative natural product that allows him to be really able to participate to his maximum capacity in the classroom. My mom, who's 79, um, does she qualify for an octogenarian? Probably. She uses these products. She's a breast cancer survivor. She loves the energy. She's not heavy. She loves the energy, her mind clarity. She can do her crossword puzzles and her word jumbo so much better. Her energy's through the roof. My sons who are in the military and they're these fit hunks of guys leading all kinds of people. They need these products. They're young dads. They're spent, they're wiped after 12 and 16 days in the field and in their jobs, but they don't need to lose weight. My daughter is gorgeous and fit, but she's a mommy to two and she's dragging and she's exhausted. She needs these products. And then you got people like me, right? 32 pounds overweight. You know, I visibly need the products. All right, y'all. I mean, you know, you can see I need the products. But don't just try to judge, you know, someone and not approach them because you have a predetermined idea of what they do or don't need. Everybody needs these products. And you gotta be talking to them about, about these products and what they're doing for you what they're doing for other people. So the other thing I don't want you to do is discriminate and think you know everything about their budget. Don't get down in their pocketbook. Come on, y'all. Listen, everybody needs these products and they need the full dose. Don't say, oh, you know, they just need the coffee and feel like that's a, a better budget for them. No, they need the full dose, right? Let them tell you it's too expensive. If price is a problem, I'm going to recommend that you tell them when they say, well, how much is it? Well, it's $1.65 for a cup of the functional beverage, and it's $1.65 for the supplement. You know what? They're going to find that in their couch or in the console of their vehicle. $1.65 sounds a lot better, right, than $120 or $30 a month. $1.65 for a functional beverage, a healthy coffee. Swap out your unhealthy coffee and put this one in right? Get rid of your energy bowl or red bowl or monster drink 
right? And have this healthy functional beverage. I don't know what monster drinks cost, but I'm going to bet you it's more than a dollar 65, right? For an unhealthy beverage. So don't discriminate, right? Age doesn't matter, male or female, fit or fat. Don't try to get down in their purse or their pocketbook, right? We always want to lead. The power's in the full dose. You all want them to have the best experience, right? It's got to be with the full dose. These products, they're formulated and designed to work together. Let's talk about how do we, uh, we've tapped out our whole warm audience. How are we going to grow our audience and our friends list? Because you know that happens, right? You know, I think especially if you're in this, the longer you are. Now, y'all, did I mention you're going to get some really, really cool things um, from people that have experience in the industry. But what I want to remind you of is I didn't come over here with the team. I don't have the experience in the industry. You can win. This is not rocket science. You don't need to be an expert. You just need to share a cup of coffee and a supplement with folks that you care about. That's it. Keep it simple, sweetie. Keep it simple, sweetie. Um, grow your friend's audience like this. Join a group on Facebook, something you're passionate about. I love the Ohio State Buckeyes. I'm in a Buckeye group. Uh, that's college. That's a college, <laughs> if any of you don't know who the Ohio State Buckeyes are. We have a little Shih Tzu. I love Shih Tzus. I'm in a Shih Tzu group, right? Um, join some Facebook groups that you're passionate about. They could be age-driven. They could be based on hobbies, activities that you enjoy. Start to get into some of those Facebook groups and start to connect with people um, that have similar passions, hobbies, desires, things that they're excited about in life, right? So do that and start to grow your audience. They you have to be careful because a lot of times, you know, you have to answer some questions, no soliciting. But what you can do is you can start to engage with people that you have these common interests with. And then you go out and you friend request them. And now all of a the sudden they're in your audience and they're part of your friends, uh, your friends as well. Um, do events. Events are amazing. You know, you can do health expos, fitness expos. You could set up at your church. You know, any place where there's people that love coffee. We know coffee is the number one consumed beverage in the world. So I have a feeling there are going to be quite a few venues and quite a few places where you might be able to set up a table and share these amazing products. We've got, you know, uh, farmer's markets and we've got bazaars that are coming up, all kinds of amazing things. Use your classified ads. Use your classified ads um, on Facebook and social media. You know, the sky's the limit. Put, a, put signage on your vehicle. Let them know you're the happy coffee lady, the happy coffee guy, right? So you can start to grow your audience through some of these uh, opportunities as well. Um, make a list. Make a list of all of your prospective customers and keep it somewhere. I'm kind of old school. Maybe you do it in your notepad or digitally, but start to make a list. I am amazed even today, um, the people that I didn't think about 15 months ago to put on my list. So make a list of everybody that you know that you want to engage about the products. I'm also going to encourage you to make a list for people that you would like to have join you in business. You know, we talk all of the time about um, keeping our circle and we, we surround our our space, ourselves, with people that we, you know, want to be like, or we want to, you know, buddy up with, you know, um, success, I think, you know, lends itself to success. We want to be around successful people or personalities that resonate with you. And what I'm going to encourage you to do is just think right now about some of those people that you know that value home-based businesses. It could be, um, it could be Mary Kay lady. Maybe get your Mary Kay from Rodan and Fields. It could be Mella Luca. It could be Advocare. You know, anybody, it could be Prime America. You know, whether they sell in products, they're peddling products, or they're peddling a service. Um, entrepreneurs that value what we have, a home-based business, start to make them and make them a part of your list. I want you to think about the guy that sold you furniture last or your car, your vehicle, or um, maybe they were your uh, 
insurance provider, your realtor, maybe somebody that sold you property or rent your, uh, set you up in your rental property. Um, I want you to think about people that were dynamic, right? That maybe you purchased a good or service from. And I want you to start to list them. People like me, that's what I was, right? I was a, a high-end sales executive for Xerox. And, um, and I'm approaching people that I, my colleagues from that industry, because I know that they understand opportunity. Uh, they're driven um, by this kind of opportunity. So start to think about people that you know in a profession, maybe like me, you know, corporate salespeople, business people. How about business owners that have their HVAC store or their plumbing service, their plumbing store, maybe they're contractors, maybe they're gym owners your list is going to be huge. And then what you're going to do with that is approach them. I have canned responses for my team because the approach can be very similar to someone like me that's in a like field or if they're a business owner or they're another home-based business. And if you're struggling with an approach to these people, because sometimes, you know, yeah, we want everybody to experience our products, but you are going to have some people that you can absolutely approach about this round four opportunity. Don't hesitate to do that. Don't hesitate to do that. Get your upline involved for these kind of conversations, right? Because the approach might look and feel, no, it's definitely going to look and feel a little different than if we're just approaching them about the, about the products. But start to make your list of these folks that value entrepreneurship or that are driven and motivated like you. Um, Stay-at-home moms, teachers, and preachers are also really good. Um, teachers don't make enough money for all of the schooling that's required, and neither do our preachers for all that they give back to us. These are great business builders for y'all. So teachers and preachers, anybody that's working more than two jobs, our Uber drivers, our Lyft drivers, our people that have a career through the week and they're waiting tables at night or on the weekends, right? Um, child care providers, everybody, you know, wants to um, have more, you know, by doing less. And a lot of people are spending a lot of time at two and three jobs just trying to make ends meet. Listen, you guys, these products are changing lives, but don't miss the fact that this opportunity is changing lives. Three, $500 a month for a family, a single person, an elderly couple, anybody on a fixed income, anybody that's just, you know, running, you know, month to month, Robin Peter to pay Paul, three to $500 a month makes a difference. Many, many times it means food on the table. Many times it means that, you know, they're not going to have to file bankruptcy. Don't miss sharing this opportunity with these people, y'all. This is huge. This is huge. We haven't even hit momentum. We are one of the fastest. No, we are the fastest growing network marketing company in the industry's history. Y'all, did you hear what I just said? 2018, we had 4,800% growth. Now, I'm going to say this again. The products work. How cool is that? The products are totally affordable. And oh, by the way, the products work. Don't miss it, you guys. Don't miss this. Keep it simple. Everybody needs what we have. I don't care what their pocketbook is, what their budget is. Everybody needs what we have. Let's talk really quickly as we wrap up about building the business. You've got happy customers. Some of our very, very best business builders our happy customers turned affiliates, right? And one of the things that you can um, tell is, this is how I grow my customer list. I've got a really happy customer. They're getting great results, right? Um, and I'll go to them and I'll say, hey, listen, I love Marcy getting these messages from you. I love the success that you're having on these products. I need you to do me a favor. I'd like you to post on your Facebook wall about your success. And I'd like you to tag me in that post. I can't tell you how many customers I've grown from those kind of posts 
because now I open up a whole new audience of Marcy's friends that I wasn't connected to, right? But I also can't tell you how many times those kind of posts have happened and Marcy's have become my new affiliates because all of the sudden, all they did is they said something like, oh my gosh, I'm so thankful to my friend Cindy for introducing the happy products um, to me three months ago. You know, I'm down 16 pounds. I have energy, no more knee pain, whatever her testimony is, you know, and I just want to give a shout out to my friend Cindy for sharing these amazing products with me. Sometimes I have to write the script for them, right? This is what I need you to say. And I just, you know, she just cuts and pastes it into her Facebook. That's okay too. Sometimes we have to write the script. And then she just tags me. And all of a sudden, her audience is saying, Marcy, what are you talking about? I need some of that happy stuff. How do I get information? How do I order? Who can tell me more? A lot of times, it might be me, right, that gets the information and I bring them on as my customer. But many times, Marcy's become my future affiliates because all of a sudden, they've made this simple curiosity post and they can see that they've got people that follow them, that care about them, want what she has. So don't miss that, right? Don't miss that. Happy customers will become and can become amazing affiliates. Now listen, we have these packs available that you can only get when you enroll the first time. Everybody needs to come on with a pack. They got to come on with a pack and you got to get them set up for their welcome call. That's a rule in my group, right? They got to come on with a pack. Now, I came on with the thousand dollar, we have happy, happier, happiest pack. So my story is pretty cool, right? It's easy for me to be able to, um, I don't know, Francisco, if you're on and you can find out somebody, we need to just mute when you come on, please. But the one thing that's really cool is I can say, when somebody says, well, how much does it cost me to get started? You are not going to believe it. You can start your own business for only $600. That's it. Can you believe it? And I'm going to show you how to recoup back most of that investment. Can you believe this, right? And then I'll go on to say, now, when I came on, I bought the $1,000 Affiliate Happiest Pack. They don't have that available anymore, darn it. But you can get this amazing $500 pack. And here's why you're going to want to do that. Create a canned message, y'all. You know, you're talking, you're... You're the upline leading in a third way messenger thread or on the phone, right? This is a duplicatable business model, right? And so my point is, is that you gotta bring them on with a pack. That's one of the requirements. And then you gotta get a welcome call scheduled. Don't get hung up on budget. This is why we get your upline involved because if you're uncomfortable talking to your neighbor or talking to your old high school friend or you know, talking to your sister-in-law about the investment, you gotta let your upline do that for you. They will bring them on with a pack. Trust me, our most successful affiliates come on with a pack. Don't you wanna set them up for the same success that you had? Of course you do. And if the want and the will is big enough for that new affiliate, they'll find a way. I did. We didn't have any credit on any of our credit cards. And I found this Discover that had about $1,200 on it. I was so determined to pay, have that paid off in the 45 day grace period. There was no stopping me. I had it paid off and then some. If the want is big enough, they will find a way. Don't you agree? And these are the kind of people you wanna be partnered up with, right? Those people that are determined. Those people that don't let obstacles or opposition get in their way. You want to have these kind of people on your team. And I know when we're just getting started and, you know, somebody just, oh, they just want to do for the $99. You know, we're so excited to get an affiliate. I'm going to encourage you to have a conversation like this. Listen, I want you to be partnered up with me, but you got to come on with the pack. So here's a couple of ways that we can do that. Let's pre-sale. Let's pre-sale those shareables. Let's pre-sell the product that's in there. 
Didn't a lot of you pre-sell your nitro? I did. I pre-sold 15 jugs of nitro. I got the money up front. When it was time for us to place the orders, I'm placing the orders. Your new affiliates can do the same thing. Have them pre-sell their pack. Help them, show them how to do that. They can collect the money, right? And they can pre-sell the packs. So don't do them a disservice because you're so darn excited to bring them on and just have them sign up for the $99. Remember, we want to create a duplicatable business model. What you do is what your new affiliates are going to do. What your new affiliates do is what their new affiliates are going to do. Now, let's just say that you came on and you didn't buy a pack. You know what your conversation needs to look like? Oh my gosh, y'all, you got to come on with the pack. I made the terrible mistake of not coming on with the pack. I don't want to do this to you. I can't do this to you. You got to come on with the pack, right? And so you can just kind of fess up. I made this terrible mistake. We only get one shot when we enroll to get these packs and I goofed up if I had it to do over again. I don't bring any affiliates on now if they can't get a pack because I want you to have incredible success right out of the gate. Our best affiliates, our most successful affiliates start with an enrollment pack. And here's the thing, always start with the biggest pack. Even if they end up with a $250 pack, right? You want to start with the biggest pack. That's going to set them up for the most success, right? You can, oh, it's so much easier to go from a $500 pack down to a $250 pack versus a $250 up to a $500. So I want you to thank everybody that you talk to about these amazing products is a future partner of yours, a future affiliate of yours, a future teammate, business builder of yours. And if you really think about that approach, you will understand why it becomes more and more important to have this duplicatable process. Come on with an affiliate pack, right? Plug into all of your meetings that you can. Be a sponge, like a three or four, 10-year-old child. Absorb, 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 right? Show them how to do the duplicatable process. Lead by example, you know? Sell for your shareable, sell for your experience packs. And when you guys do those things, I'm telling you right now, you are fully equipped with everything that you need to be successful in this business. God, that's God's promise. You are fully equipped. I don't have any special sauce, any special thing that you all don't have. You are fully equipped. This is the right company. These are the right products. You've got the vehicle. Have your want big enough. The only difference between those that are successful and the people that choose to live in mediocrity and just get by is that they have the bigger desire, the bigger want. They're going to find a way. You're going to get more no's in this business than you get yeses. Be certain of that. But the really cool thing is it doesn't take very many yeses to be successful. And with that, y'all, our Saturday morning training 30 minutes. Ricky said, keep it to 30 minutes. So that's it. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed day. Um, be a blessing to someone. Thank you for plugging in. Thank you for showing up. You're going to go up because you showed up. I can promise you that. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate all of you. Thank, Thank you. you.